Hello, my name is Katrina. I'm here to help. I do that by sharing my story through life and my do's and don'ts and my revelations, discoveries, so forth. So, this past week I've been ups and downs and I've been realizing after a listening to a podcast by Mel Robbins that I'm eating the wrong way. And she has a guest on the show this particular episode that's called Dr. Chris Palmer. And I tried to make a video of this yesterday when I was outside walking. I put in a short video about it. Um, but it was a good information, but still, I was walking outside. You can catch a glimpse of uh, license plates and stuff. And I don't, I don't want to show anything else than the actual content. So here we go. One more time. I'm eating hamburgers every week. Um, hamburgers means bread and uh, are loaded with carbs. And Dr. Chris Palmer says that we're supposed to, if we have difficulties with sleep or um, just uh, ha having difficult brain challenges, dyslexia, could be various stuff that you can change your diet if you consult your own doctor, of course. Uh, so tomorrow I have a doctor's appointment and I will see uh, what the doctors say. Uh, but I, until then, I'm just getting the science and the information and reading up on other types of foods. So I will be trying some beets and um, I'm going towards the, the game the wild animal uh, source of meat. So from moose and from deer and from um, from the wild, <laughs> if you know what I mean there. So I'm looking at wild boar meat, I like that. It goes into my paleo diet, my stone age diet, which I have been um, taking a step away from when it comes to my hamburgers. I love meatballs and pasta. And I also have the taco, the Swedish taco way where you have a white wheat bread. All of these things contain the pasta and bread. Uh, the, the tortilla, wheat tortilla contains carb. So uh, Chris, Palmer suggests a low carb diet. I will put the link in the description. This is a longer video, but if you are really interested and want to sleep better, if you have dyslexia, if you have ever considered that you have ADHD, autism, yeah, uh, this is basically a way to help your mind to get the right uh, stuff, what it needs, basically. So. I've been thinking a lot about it, and even though I love these foods, I will give them up at least for like 90 days that Chris Palmer says in the video. I will try this and see if it works on me, because I need to have something and I don't want to have medications. I tried medications before and I didn't like it. But it's everyone's choice, I'm not saying don't do it. If you need it and you like it, do it. Of course, if it makes you feel better with the doctor's advice, yes, do it. Um, that's your choice. Um, but for me, it's uh, not an option. I would like to have uh, more wild gain in my food anyway. Wild meat, uh, moose, uh, deer, while boar and stuff we ate in the Stone Age time. That's where my oysters come in. Uh, in Sweden, in this area where I live, we have a lot of seafood in the summer and we ate a lot of oysters. So they have these big piles of trash heaps, which they call the kekenmedding, which is a Norwegian word for uh, kitchen trash, basically. And there you can find uh, evidence of what people ate in the Stone Age times. So. Uh, big uh, shells, you know, the oyster shells are in heaps and piles in the archaeological material from this area. So I'm going to go more into that. Uh, so that's the plan. And I'm trying to do it slowly so it doesn't become a, a big shock for the body. So 
that's the way I like to do stuff slowly, step by step, and think it through and uh, have time to consult the doctor and listen to a lot of information about it. I'm not very good with reading, so hopefully that will get better also. And I'm trying to keep up my meditations, even though it's hard to fit into the schedule. In the weekends, I just try, try, try to let go of the, the pressure of the everyday life. So I just try to take it easy and do the stuff I didn't have time to do in the week. So this week I have been very active cleaning. I think this is connected to that I've been um, eating my omegas, uh, omega-3, omega-6, uh, my supplements and also the vitamins that are supposed to uh, be um, good for me every day. Vitamin B for the Nordic air area doesn't get very much sunlight uh, in the winter. So I've been eating that and I try to um, have different sources for this stuff as well. So I've been trying to do that and I think this has given me the extra space to uh, take uh, care of this stuff that have been bothering me which I haven't had the energy to do so I've been cleaning I've been uh, cleaning stuff that I've been noticing lately if I notice anything I put it on the list and I make time for it later on and I try to keep up the the habits of doing this the uh, habits everyday habits to do uh, my routine uh, basically for how to stay ahead so uh, yesterday I took a walk up the street and I went to the store and I bought my last, hopefully, french fries and hamburgers. So two more weeks and then I hopefully will have some beets, some feta cheese, that's goat and milk in that. So the cheese is made from two kinds of milk that isn't cow because I'm, uh, I can't eat cow milk or any products connecting to it. And I also realized that since the past 40 something has been happening in my stomach. So I get hungry, so I will rearrange my day and try to have bacon and eggs in the mornings or something similar and try to uh, rearrange it basically. So it's I, I get more hungry in the morning. I've been walking back and forth work. This is also a recommendation from Chris Palmer to get out and walk and do um, a short walk after dinner is his recommendation. I need to work in the office uh, two days next week and three days two days after so then I take the opportunity to walk into work as long as it's uh, winter so I can have the cool air to support me on the way. So walking and exercising in other ways I've been playing ball yesterday and that's have been <laughs> I, I can feel it in the body that I have a, a bit of an ache after the exercises there. You tend to go down halfway to throw the the, the marbles, the big marbles. And uh, yeah, it's quite funny. So, um, and there is a lot of banter with the, the crew that's playing and it's quite fun. So I got really a social training exercise as well. I realized that I'm not very good. I've been keeping to myself because I, because I haven't had the energy to uh, maintain the social connections. So I um, hopefully this diet will help me to have more energy to do that. And I'm studying a variation of uh, reality shows uh, to see, even though they're a bit uh, scripted, I don't really care about that. It's the honest reactions of people and their thoughts that's what I'm after and I've been more socializing at work or at lunch so um, I'm getting there but it's slowly and hopefully as Chris Palmer says in his uh, interview with Mel Robbins um, that this could really help and it's um, yeah it, it shouldn't be any uh, much side effects along the way I have been eating beads before. I like bacon and eggs, so hopefully I will do something. And I try to get it locally sourced where they are um, interested in how to uh, give the animals a good life. So that's something I like as well. So um, I'm getting there one step at a time and it starts all in here. 
and hopefully you can take some information out of this and use in your life and if you don't leave it that's as fine as well and i hope you have a good weekend take care of yourselves bye